Good morning children. Hope you are all in the pink of your health. And what about your studies? Is it going smoothly? I hope so. Now, let us move on to the next chapter in chemistry. So, and today we are going to study the chapter 3 that is matter. Chapter 2 we will do later. Okay. So, just all of you take a minute and look around you. What can you see? A hundreds of things, isn't it? From the pen, book, pencil, table, chair, etc. Near, nearby you to the furniture, utensils in the kitchen, etc. at your home. And when you look around or when you look outside, observe the nature. What can you see there? Yeah, plants. Animals, everything you can see. So, all these things, have you ever thought, what makes up all these things around us or in the environment? Did you ever think about that? Yes, all these substances in nature or around us, is made up of matter. That is the new term which we are going to study in this chapter. All substances are made up of matter. And do you know what makes up matter? Have you thought about that? Yeah, there are one fundamental building blocks with which all the matter are made up in this universe. That fundamental building blocks we call as atoms. So, about atoms we will be seeing later. They are the fundamental building blocks with which the matter is made up of and all the substances around us which we see are made up of basically matter. Now, we, I had given you here a lot of examples. So, looking at that example, we can classify them into different categories. Can you just try, try to Categorize those examples which we discussed here. First, I told you about your book, pencil, bag, etc. Isn't it? So, what are they? You know, they are non-living things. So, this matter we can broadly classify into two categories or two under two headings. That is living and non-living things. And living things, coming to living things, you, when you look around, you can see plants, animals, insects, everything around you, isn't it? So, the living things we will cater, classify into plants and animals. These are the living matter. Now, what about non-living matter? Yeah, non-living, all the non-living things which we can see around us, we call them as non-living matter. And non-living matter can be further classified as natural and man-made. Can you give me some examples to differentiate this natural and man-made? Yes, for example, the sun, the stars, they are natural, isn't it? And they are not living matter. And what about man-made? Yeah, the books, 
pen, pencils, bags, etc., which we are using, they we can call them as man-made matter. So we are going to study in detail about the matter in this chapter. Let us see. Let us try to define matter. So matter is known as anything that occupies space and has mass. We call the mass occupies space and has mass. We call them as matter. So it, it is not necessary that the substances which we can only touch or see can be can, uh, called as matter. For example, the air which we breathe in, actually we can feel it, isn't it? So this air also come under the category matter. Now let us see in detail. Now, let us see the composition of matter or atoms and molecules. You know that all substances are made up of matter. But what is this matter made up of? That is what we have to study here. See, matter is made up of extremely small particles called atoms. And you know atoms are the smallest particle or unit of matter which will be exhibiting all the properties of matter. So for example if you take a piece of chalk and cut it into many small pieces further cut it, broke, broke, broke it down into many pieces. Even then that single piece of chalk or will be having all the properties of that big chalk itself. So in the same way the atoms will be exhibiting all the properties of that matter. And you will be studying in later chapter that these atoms combine together to form molecules. So they are the another particle which, with which we are making up the matter. So molecule means it is, also, it is the smallest unit of matter which exhibit all the properties of that kind of matter and is capable of independent existence. So the difference between atom and molecule is that atoms cannot exist freely but molecules they can exist in independently or freely. See that two atoms of hydrogen combining with one atom of oxygen to form a water molecule. That is, the, you know the chemical formula as H2O. So, this water molecule will be, each water, single water molecule will be having all the properties of that big glass of water which for example if we take now another example here is the formation of oxygen molecule there are also two atoms of oxygen they are combining together to form one molecule of oxygen so children now you know that the matter is made up of small particles now let us see what are the specialities of these small particles the first point is that these particles are in continuous random motion. That means they are always moving about here and there. Since they are always moving about, they possess kinetic energy. That is moving substance possess kinetic energy. 
and because of this kinetic energy the particles in matter are able to move about so the kinetic energy will be increasing with the increase in temperature now the second point is that this the particles i told you matter is made up of particles so the particles are held together each other by an attractive force called as intermolecular force of attraction because of this attractive force actually the particles are held together in a molecule then another thing is that the force of attraction will be different for different kinds of particles and the force of attraction between the particles of same substance it is known as cohesion that is another new term which we are studying here cohesion the next property is that is the particles of matter i told you they will be arranged very closely so they will be having inter particular or inter molecular space so one reason for this intermolecular space is due to the random motion of the particles since the particles are always moving about here and there there will be space between the molecules so to sum up the characteristics of the particles of matter the first point is matter is made up of atoms and molecules the second point the particles of matter are always in random motion the third point there exists an intermolecular force of attraction between the particles of matter then the fourth point there is intermolecular space between the particles of matter you have to study only these three four these four points so children here i have given you an activity which is in your textbook it is a very simple activity which you can perform at home perform it observe it and write the answer for that question so we will study about the matter in detail in the next class that's all for today thank you